Hello everybody, this is Brian Garvin and today is Sunday and it was raining in Oceanside um, and it was also pretty windy um, and mostly because of the wind um, I decided to do this video here in my room. Um, so I just wanted to touch base with you on Coinbase and tell you what they're all about. The first part of the video I want to go over the basic details of Coinbase, something everybody should know. The second, I'll go into my investment and how I did with it over the last almost 12 weeks. And the third part of the video will be a little more of a discussion on the main features of Coinbase and why I think, you know, as an investor, uh, they make a good fit. This is not a recommendation. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just providing my opinion on Coinbase. And um, it's totally up to you if you want to do this or not. So anyway, here we go. Uh, Coinbase was founded in June 2012 by Brian Armstrong. He's the CEO. He also used to work for Airbnb back in the day. Um, they have about 3,400 employees right now. Um, they're based in Wilmington, Delaware, and their, their current market cap right now is almost $62 billion. Now, if you think about where crypto is going, um, it could easily reach $5 trillion in the next, say, 10 years. That's just my opinion, of course, but it's going in that direction. Crypto is getting very, very big. Um, they're the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the United States. And um, so here's what here's my investment and how it worked out. On uh, January 2nd, 2024, um, I purchased 61 shares at $166.99 each. The total value of those shares was $10,186.39. Um, now, fast forward almost 12 weeks later on um, March 23rd, 2024, the value of Coinbase stock is 250, excuse me, $255.51. So now my position is valued at $15,586.11. Um, so I'm currently in profit $5,399.72. Um, which is basically up 65%. Um, now, this isn't bad considering we're in a dip right now. I mean, the, the market's in a dip. It, it was Its all-time high was 73000 a couple weeks ago, and now we're about maybe 64, 65000 somewhere in that area. Um, and, the bull, and, the, and the bull run hasn't started yet. So to be up 65% when the bull run, in my opinion, hasn't really started yet because the April halving comes in around April 17th, um, which is... A little less than a month away. So um, I also want to mention that right now Coinbase is my best performing stock out of all the stocks I own, um, even the three artificial intelligence stocks that I own. That's not to say this will happen in the long run. Maybe the AI stocks will pass them up. I don't know, but we'll see. I'm going to do a report on all, all my aggregated stocks that I own and um, we'll see where they're at in about six months. I'll do a review to see you know how it's going from here. So You'll get to see that. That um, so it's also one of the leading crypto ex currency exchanges globally. So not just in the United States, but they serve most of the countries in the world, except countries that are restricted, like probably Iran, North Korea, you know, Russia, and places like that. Um, there. So with Coinbase, you could buy, sell, and store um, various digital currencies. Um, and here, here's a breakdown of their key features. And I want to let you know that they offer, they used to only offer a few. Now they offer about 200 cryptos you can exchange. Back in the day, because I, I, I actually set up an account there and put a little bit of, I think it was like a few hundred dollars of, um, back in 2016, a few hundred dollars of Bitcoin. And I looked at my account um, when I was going to use it again, and it was like $1,700. I was like, wow. Um, but anyway, the user-friendly they have a user-friendly interface. What makes them different from a lot of other exchanges is they don't have that complicated trading look, you know, that with all the graphs and you know charts and things like that. They have a super friendly interface where you click a button and hit buy or sell or exchange, and you just go through the little menu that they give you and click a button and boom. Um, I dollar cost average into there every day and I use the Coinbase app, but we're going to get to that later. But that's just 
but on the PC or the app, it's user friendly. It's, there's no complicated trade. There is a complicated trading interface, but you have to select that. But if you're a beginner, um, you don't need to. Um, you can do it the real easy way, like I do, because I don't really, I don't really like those complicated things because I'm not technical. Um, now they support a wide range of cryptocurrencies. Um, like I said before, they used to only offer, uh, I think it was Bitcoin at first, and they eventually put in Ethereum, and then maybe Solana, a couple others, and now they offer them all. So I mean, not all, but not any coin could be come on Coinbase. They have to have a so they got have to go through Coinbase's due diligence process before they get accepted. And I, I'm not sure what all that entails, but they're pretty strict. I mean, they, they only want, you know, clean coins on their exchange. They don't want, you know, scammers and things like that. So um, security measures. Um, that's one of the things I want to talk about the most is, is sec Coinbase takes security extremely seriously. Um, their, their platform inter integrates various security measures like uh, two-factor authentication, Biometric login options. I've never used that particular feature, but I've used the 2FA a lot. Um, and they do cold storage for the majority of users' funds. Now, what cold storage is, is Coinbase has something called the Coinbase Vault. Um, it's free to use if you're a member. You know, I mean, if you're a free member of Coinbase, you could use it. You don't have to be a Coinbase One member to use it. Um, and you put your, your um, coins in there. And what it does is... Once a coin's in the vault, you just click, you know, you just set up a vault. It only takes a couple minutes one time. You have to use a secondary email address. And then you have to, um, and that's just to set it up. And, and, and you have to verify an email and that sets up the vault. It's a one-time thing. So anytime you want to add, uh, you know, say you're, you're buying Chainlink every day and you want to add it. Every day you buy Chainlink, like I dollar cost average $53 a day. And, and every day I buy Chainlink, I put it in the vault. It's just a procedure because it's super safe in the vault. And let me tell you why. If someone wants to withdraw money from the vault, they have to do two things. First, they have to submit a withdrawal request and they have to enter a two-factor authentication code into the thing. And the only way they can enter that 2FA code is if they have physical possession of your phone. So if they have physical possession of your phone, they can do it. But if they don't, there's no way they can do it because that code is only sent to your phone. Every one that has a Google Authenticator app has a different code because when you download the app, it's it's the, the codes are characteristic to your phone. They're tied to your phone. So that's why I tell everybody, put a password on your phone so they can't even get to your phone desktop if somebody did steal your phone um, and they shouldn't be able to get to that. So anyway, um, there's a lot of actually other tips. Like if you go to luckyinvestor.com forward slash free crypto class. I offer a lot of other tips on security, like 11 other tips. I mean, you'll, you'll really be on top of your security if you follow those. I suggest you take the time to do that because anyway, I don't want to get too far off topic, but you definitely want to be serious about your security um, because there is a lot of scammers out there trying to do anything they can to steal what you have. Um, so Okay, okay, so I, they offer, I already went over the fact that they offer a wide range of cryptocurrencies. They offer hundreds of them now. Once they get through their vetting process, they can, you, you can buy crypto on their exchange. Um, security measures. Now, if you go to coinmarketcap.com and you do a search for a crypto that you want to buy or whatever, you can see if Coinbase offers it or not. You can also do a, a search on um, Coinbase to have a little uh, search bar and you can do a search to see if they offer the crypto you're looking for. Um, now the mobile app, um, oh, one, of, oh, one of the things I want to say about security is they're compliant with regulatory requirements in the jurisdictions it operates in, and they provide users with a sense of trust and legitimacy. And, and, and the last thing I want to tell you is they have never been hacked. Now, sometimes when I use the mobile app, like I'll go on it and I'll refresh it and it says I have to log in again every month or so it does that. I don't even know if it's every month. It might be every two weeks. And then I have to access where my, you know, where I have my username and password and I have to enter it digit by digit to make sure it's perfect. And then same with the password. It's a nice juicy long password like I teach people to do. And um, then I got to enter. And after that, I, I, I set it up to where they ask for a secure, uh, a pass key. 
and, and I believe that's a four digit phrase and you set that up with Windows originally, but then it works with Coinbase, it integrates with Coinbase. So you gotta get through all that. And then I believe you have to, um, the, and you, a lot of times it doesn't recognize the device. So then I gotta go to the phone, to my phone. I mean, not my phone, but yeah, I gotta go to the, access my email through my you know, phone and then verify the email address because they didn't recognize that either. So it, it's, it's, it, it, it's a bit of a process to do that. And then after that, um, I think I entered my 2FA code again. There's another thing they want you to do with the pass key on the mobile phone that I don't really understand, but there's an alternative and it just gets click alternative options and then enter your 2FA code and you just enter that and boom, I'm eventually back in my, my mobile account. And this happens about once a month, it's normal. Um, it's nothing to freak out about. And um, on the PC, yeah, you could actually save your username and password on your PC. That's why I also recommend um, if you don't, if no one uses your PC, I still recommend putting a password on there. So if some stranger breaks in your house, I mean, chances are one in a trillion, but if they do, um, they have to enter a passkey. And I wouldn't make that your birthday. You know, if someone knows you and they know your birthday, they'll pro that's probably the first thing they'll try. So just a little alpha on that. Um, and I already told you about the mobile app. It works on Android and it works on um, iPhone, you know, smart, any, any smartphone like an Apple or an Android works on both. So um, it's basically similar to the desktop version, but it's limited. You can't store in the vault on your app. That's one of the things I realized. So you, I, I, I use my uh, PC when I want to store cryptocurrency, when I want to you know, save it um, in the vault. And then when I want to just put it, well, I, everything I want in the vault right now. So unless you're trading it with a, with a crypto bot or something, which I know about one, but that's, that's a whole subject for another video. But unless you're doing that, it should always be in your vault, unless you're taking it out, trading it or whatever, it should always be in the vault because that's where it's the most secure. Um, so it's really e easy because I like to use the app because like I DCA $53 a day into the crypto space. That's what I do. That's my discretionary money that I'm allowed to, you know, invest with. And let's say, for example, I want to invest in Demo one day. So what I'll do is I'll fire up the phone and I'll, you know, view a list of my cryptocurrencies and I see Demo and I click that button and I put in $53 and then I click, you know, submit. Or, I mean, it's really super easy for, I mean, once you do it once or twice, it'll be so simple. And, and then, then I've got $53 of Demo and I did it from my, I mean, I could be at the store shopping. I could be wherever and do that on the go, or if I get an urge to do DCA into a different coin, I might do that one day. Because I don't just buy Bitcoin, I have other coins as well. Bitcoin's about 80% of my portfolio, but the rest of my portfolio was other altcoins. So that's kind of how I do that. And, and it's great for buying, it's great for viewing your balance, it's great for viewing the balance of your coins. I mean, it gives you that sense of satisfaction when you're on the go, but you can only do vault functions and stuff with your PC. Um, and, and certain other functions. So I like to use a PC when I'm at home for the most part because it's easier and comfortable. It's a bigger screen and all that kind of stuff. Um, so now we'll go over to the fees. A Coinbase charges fees for transactions, which can vary depending on factors such as the payment method used in the region. Um, they might charge more fees in, in the US than they do in the UK. I don't really know how all that works. I don't have a detailed breakdown. But I know if you're a Coinbase One member, you get, I think it's like $10,000 of um, for transactions that you don't have to pay for. It's only $29.99 a month to be a member. I think for a full year membership, I think in January, I paid $288 for a full year. So you get a little bit of a discount, maybe two months off of a discount if you buy by the year. Um, now these fees are pretty competitive when you compare them to other exchanges. And, but they, they but they do add up if you're frequently trading. That's why I say if you're frequently trading, if you're frequently, if you're buying, um, it, it's it's worth it too because if you're DCing for like I do, fifty three dollars a day, I think after I think I calculated it once, and it, it, if you do over seven hundred dollars of either buying or selling or whatever, you paid that twenty nine ninety nine off. Um, and I go I do about fifteen hundred a month, so I figure I paid it off by then. Um, now taxes, um, 
they have appropriate uh, tax forms in the back office. Like the, the, there's a, a tax form that's specifically made for crypto. I don't remember the name of it, but you could download that. And, and you take all that, those forms to your CPA. And, um, or you could take them to a company like CoinLedger. Uh, so you have either option. We talk about CoinLedger as well. Um, educational resources. Um, <clears throat> for beginners, they offer you the ability to watch certain videos and get, get a little crypto for watching those videos. Um, they offer up to $200. Now, I've never really seen an area where it says, hey, click here and watch this video for 10 bucks or whatever. I've never seen that. Um, I didn't join for that. You know, I joined to make a few million dollars and I, I just didn't really care about it. But but they're there if you want to take advantage of it. Um, now, customer support. I do have something to say about customer support. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you up front. They're not, they don't have the best customer support, but they're trying. Okay, their, their intentions are good, but you're dealing with a lot of foreigners, I believe, that work there. And I think sometimes they don't use common sense when they're approached with certain problems, and it can be really frustrating. You can make your, your blood pressure go up a few points, you know. Um, they do have, they, they, they have it through various channels, and, and they have, um, they do have a comprehensive knowledge base. You could probably find what you're looking for in some cases. In one case, I was able to solve my own problem. I had three different problems in one case. I'm going to go over them soon. And in one case, I was off, I was actually able to solve that. And in a couple of cases, I couldn't. Um, or I, the other case, they solved it, but it took about a week. In one case, they couldn't solve it. I'm going to go into that right now. Um, sometimes, when I use the number to call back Coinbase, and, and I identify myself beforehand by entering the eight-digit number they send to me through email, because that's what happened. When you call their number... If you're a Coinbase One member, they send you an email with an eight-digit number, and they want you to input that into your keypad, right, onto your mobile phone. And when you do that and you verify yourself, then I've been able to hook up with a customer support rep in all those cases within about five minutes. And yeah, and I'm actually talking to them on the phone. But if you're not a Coinbase One member, I think the only option you have is the chatbot. I don't know what phone options you have. If, if you have any, I'm not aware of them. Um, but anyway, one, one Coinbase, uh, support problem that I had was I tried to set up a vault. I went back and forth with them. I was very patient. Um, I, I felt that they didn't understand what I said the first time I had to really explain myself in detail and provide screenshots and that sort of thing. Um, but, but it took about a week and then eventually my vault worked and I was able to set up my, you know, my vaults again. So I don't know if it was a problem that they fixed on their end or it was a global problem or it was just a problem for me. I don't know, but I fixed it within about a week. They, they did take care of it. It just took them about a week. Um, about, about a couple months ago when I upgraded my security and set a super strong email and a super strong password and I, you know, when it, I, I validated it and everything like that, I thought it was problem solved. I didn't think I had to worry about anything. And then I log in my account the next day and I see account restricted. And then I, 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 I went to the help center, talked to the chat bot, and then they, they um, responded. Um, it already knew my problem. I, I see your account is restricted. You want help? I said, yes. And they sent me a link to re-verify re myself through, you know, a driver's license front and back and then a um, selfie of myself. And I was like, okay, cool. And I did that. And my pro and and it and it disappeared from the screen and it was fine. I didn't have to contact support or anything. Just that little chat bot. That was one instance where a chat bot actually helped me. It has artificial intelligence in it, so it knew what my problem was. The third uh, thing I had with Coinbase is, is the same time this happened, my card seemed to be. I had a coin. I have a Coinbase card, and it seemed to have been restricted. So what I did was I. Went through the process, called customer support, got a ticket number. Um, they started looking into my case, went back and forth with them. In the first email, they acted like they didn't know what they were talking about. Like I, they didn't know what I was talking about. Like they gave me this dry, cold, you know, answer, uh, like putting it all back on me. I'm, I, and I'm like, listen, you, if you, this is my last chance to try to get this solved, or I'm going to take my card and put it away and I won't use it again. And that's exactly what I did. Um, I, I, I just stopped using the card because I had three, fr not fraudulent transactions, three transactions that were declined and I did everything they wanted. I, I gave them the declined transactions. I gave them all the information they wanted and they still couldn't really help me. 
they might fix this problem because it's the the ticket's still pending at this time but in the meantime I, I just i just don't use the card but that's not a big i mean i'm in this to make millions of dollars i'm not in this to use their card i mean it was just a luxury because for every like 200 dollars you spend you get a dollar of bitcoin or you could select you can get ethereum you can get polygon there there's they always give you different options every month but there's only four or five options they give you so that's kind of how that works so i i just thought you'd want to know that um so as far as regulatory compliance, um, they comply with all the laws and regulations of the countries it operates in. And that's probably why they're so tough on security sometimes. And, and sometimes your problems get solved and sometimes they don't get solved as quick. Um, but I want to say something about Coinbase One. If, if you're just going to deposit Bitcoin every month, you know, like three, five hundred dollars, and you don't plan on doing anything else except for hodling it and then withdrawing it at a later date, or maybe two or three coins and you want to transfer them or whatever, you don't need that. I mean, I don't use the wallet because I'm afraid of it. I don't really understand how it works. Um, I just use the coins that are actually available on Coinbase, and that's separate from what's in the wallet. So I just want to pass that down to you as well. If, if, if you're just going to hodl, I don't think you need the Coinbase One membership, but if you ever get in a jam and, and you need to call customer support and get something fixed, then it's probably a good idea to use Coinbase One. So that's just my opinion. It's, it's worth it if you're doing a lot of trading. So um, my ultimate, my ultimate um, conclusion about Coinbase is that they're a legitimate company. They have the best intentions of everybody at heart. They're not, they're not a scam. They're not out to steal your funds or rip you off. That I know. Um, but, but it's the customer support stuff that's a little frustrating, but if you can just be patient during those times, you're going to, you're going to be fine because I'm fine now, you know, and I've got a great portfolio and I'm re I'm set up really good for the bull run of 2024. And, um, you know, that's really all I could say. And, um, the last thing I want to say is, is please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell so you can get automated notifications every time I make a new YouTube video. And um, I, 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 I wish I had more to say about Coinbase, but I'll, I'll be making other videos. And, and if I have anything else to say about them, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. In the meantime, have a super weekend and um, I will be in touch. Thank you.